Hello everybody! My name is Gig by Gamba, and uh, welcome to oi, less West of Loathing. I need to turn down my volume. It's a little loud. <clears throat> Alright. Wanted for protagonist Peggy Yates. Enter your last name. Oh, um. Bite. Oh, Giga. Yeah. Because I'm original. I am perfect. Alright, let's play the game. <laughs> play as Barry McCockner. <laughs> yeah. I'm excited now. I had the I had the strangest dream. I was choosing a character class. Cow puncher, bean slinger, or snake oiler. I like punching cows on a daily basis because I'm an eco terrorist. Cow punchers solve their problems with their fists, whether it's shaking them at a disagreeable feller in a in a disreputable saloon or using them to punch a slightly more dis disagreeable feller in a slightly less re reputable saloon. You've heard the cow punchers are in demand out west since the cows came home, which stands to reason. The cows aren't gonna punch themselves after all. You're goddamn right. I want to become a cow puncher. My room. I haven't heard- uh, actually, I've, I've seen uh, Markiplier play this game, and I remember being absolutely ridiculous, but it was so long ago. What is going on? You read one of the, the treasure of the black ship. Dad gave it to me when I was a kid. Oh, hey, this one might come in here. You got an item. Walking stupid. Hold on. Unlock stupid walking as an option. Read it. You unlock the perk, stupid. You actually drop the bloke and then. Ruin it by stepping on it 30 times while you're trying to pick it up. Oops. Alright, let me just put my mouse somewhere. Nope. Put my mouse here. Okay. Uh, okay. Hey, Russell, how you doing? Go! Oh. I'm gonna miss you too, buddy. Go! Oh, Go! I fear Russell Cricket. You grab a cricket from your cricket bag and feed it to Russell. He coos appreciatively and nuzzles your hand. Maybe it's time for you to leave too. You open your bedroom window, not pictured, and unlatch the door to Russell's cage. He winks at you, caws one last time, then flies away to the west. It's time to hit the trail. Ah, oh, I just lost my bird! Okay, I'm not gonna question that. Comb hair. I don't have any. He combed me hair one last time. I got XP for that. Fascinating. What is? What am I fucking doing? What on earth? Turn off. Hello. My living room. This hearth really puts the hearth in hearth and home. You're gonna miss mom's cooking. Of course I am. It's mom's pie safe. It keeps all of her pie safes. Can I have a pie? No? Is one filled with cream? You pick up one of your brother's weird books and flip through it. Vors... V what? Vorlesung uber... Za I need the... I like the music in the background. Pull. Play that... No! Play that goddamn music. Yeah. I'm a fucking god. You pick up one of your brother's weird books and flip through it. Corpus ego. What the fuck? Corpus. Uh, I think that's about math. Maybe. Me. I don't know. Look inside. You got a puzzle cube. Okay. Woodies. Fiddle with it. <laughs> Hooray! I saw you. Yeah. So those ways, but you figured out the last couple of moves. Yes. Fiddle. Oh. Okay. Ooh, meat bar. 
Yo, what the fuck am I doing, bro? I like this stupid walk. I'm gonna keep it. All right, time to hit the trails. My family's farm. Hey, mom. Your, mo your mom smiles warmly as you approach. I'm leaving now, mom. We're gonna miss you, kiddo. Oh, and before you leave, I got a present. I got you a present. A present? Yep. It's that book you wanted for Crimbo. I know it's early, but... It's the one about picking locks, oh boy. The one about desert survival, oh boy. The one about bartering, oh boy. I'm about to pick locks, what the fuck? That's the one, enjoy. You got locks and how to pick them. Please be careful out there. Write us a letter when you can. She hugs you. I will, mom. Goodbye. Thanks, mom. It's just what I wanted. Your father Mor Mor Morsley jabs at the haystack. That had to fit you, dad. Yeah, I'm gonna be a dick. I'll grow into it. It's time for me to leave. His lips quiver a little. Listen, I want you to have this. It's your grandmother's brass knuckles. What? I can get granny's brass knuckles? Hell yeah! Thanks, dad. Good. Good luck out there. Be sure to say goodbye to your mother. I, I, I did that. Goodbye, dad. Whoa, my brother looks like a cunt. Your brother Rufus is standing here looking nervous. He's pretty good. Good at looking nervous. Gives him his puzzle back. You hand him his puzzle and he starts fidgeting with it to say goodbye. Hey Rufus, it's time for me to head west. I still don't understand why you're leaving. He's got a point, you know. Why are you going to the west? To help people to seek my fortune to get off this stupid farm. <laughs> get off the fucking farm. Rufus, you know how much I hate it here. I can't stay. I've got to go where the action is. But it's so dangerous. 60% of people who go to the west get killed within a year. And the statistic is from before the cows came home. So what happened when the cows came home? I'll be okay. You worry about taking care of mom and dad. I'll worry about me. Okay, if you say so. I still think you'll be dead by Crimbo. I'll miss you, Rufus. Okay, you fucking douchebag of a brother. You give him a playful punch in the arm. We'll leave. Can I uh, hug these trees? Alright. I'm just gonna scrape my ass across the sand as I leave. West of Loathing! Skip the opening credits, yes, because I'm too... Goddamn... Fucking... Un what am I? Impatient! You just skipped a uh, sequence where your character rode a turnip cart across the Great Plains into the deep, sleepy town of Bor Boring Springs. Highlights of the trip included. Ah, uh, thank you. At least you get to see all the people who worked on the game. Well, howdy there, partner. Excuse me. Excuse me, mister. Yipes! A turnip! Get turnip. I got a dusty turnip. How oh, nice, how peaceful. A door at the- it says, Gone Drinking. Oh, it's you. Hey, watch it, buddy. I can- Oh, I stepped in shit. It smells quite fresh. The bar, I mean, the saloon. As you walk into the saloon, the, cra the crazy eyed guy sitting to the left of the door shrieks and waves at you to get your attention. Hey, where's your hat, Dagnabbit? Well, I, you can't drink here without a hat. Taint proper. He points to the take a hat, leave a hat box next to the door. Check out the box. You look through the box, you look through the hat box and find a sturdy looking Stetson. That looks like something you'd wear. A four gallon hat. You grab the hat and put it on. Thanks, or Pete. Thanks, Pete. He gives you a friendly, if somewhat twitchy nod. Say, feller. Yes. You heading west? If you want some company, I'd be more than happy to come along. Just let me know. Well, er, no pressure. All right, I'll keep it in mind. Dude, this motherfucker got the crazy eyes, holy. It's a spittoon, people spit in it. You know, without even looking in it, that's, that it's absolutely disgusting. I'm gonna look into it. Yeah, it's full of spit, regular spit, gross tobacco spit, chewing gum, and it looks like a few, a few teeth as well. It's disgusting, and the smell! Even from a distance, it seems horrible. I'm gonna look closer. <laughs> you are now on your hands and knees, peering into a filth-encrusted spittoon. I don't, I don't understand what is wrong with you. Wait, is there something shining at the bottom? I'm gonna get it. 
You reach your hand toward the spittoon. Even before you touch it, you can feel the grossness in the air. Like a greasy frog enveloping the stinking brass horror. It smells like the vomit trowel at a mes uh, mesquite BBQ eating contest. You hesitate. NEVER SURRENDER! You plunge your hand into the awful soup. It makes a sound like glop. Your skin is burning, your eyes start to water. SEARCH! Your fingers make contact with something. You pull your hand out of the devil's terrain slowly, not daring to risk splashing the contents all over yourself. You appear to have got some kind of ring, probably some kind of disease as well. Congratulations? You got an item. Nask nasty ring. Hooray. Let's equip it. Oh, let's, uh... Nasty ring. What does nasty ring do? One muscle, one mysticality, and one moxie. Okay. Though getting the ring was traumatic, you have a, you have to admit it was worth it. You're goddamn right. I'm gonna read my lock picking. After you're done reading, you donate to the local orphanage. Soon those orphans will be able to make their escape. Go, orphans, go! Yay. Ladies and gentlemen. Uh, howdy, I'm Barry. Howdy, Barry, I'm Horace. Oh, wait, yeah, my name is Barry McCockiner. <laughs> nice to meet you. What do you do? I'm the town hostler. I don't, I don't know what that is. I'm the town horse selling guy. Gotcha. Oh, wait, my character also said gotcha. How's that working out for you? Oh, those horses are just flying out the door. So business is booming? Nice. No, I mean the horses keep running away. I haven't sold them one in ages. Oh. Is that why you're drinking here instead? Uh, yep. And me and me being in here drinking instead of watching the horses is probably how they keep escaping. It's one of the most it was one of those vicious circle things. Well, I'm in need of a horse. Do you have any left? One. Kind of a boring one. But it's got four legs and a back to sit on. Come see me at the stable. I'll be happy to show it to you. Okay. Later! Wait, where even is this dude? Where the fuck you... Horse... Horse guy? Hey, how you doing? I should probably leave him alone. No, I wanna... Hey. Requires a needle. I need a needle. Pick locks? God damn it. You walk over to the bar and wait patiently for the bartender to notice you. While you're waiting, you see a sign taped to the back of the wall reading, Reward for lost mugs, 25 meat each. Keep waiting. The bartender finally notices you. Howdy, cowboy. Howdy, barkeep. Name's Barry. What brings you to our little backwater? Asks about work. Oh, the usual. I came out west to make my fortune. Not having much luck so far, though. Any work around these parts? Unfortunately, Boring Springs already has more people in it than jobs. It's more of an errand town, if you catch my, me my meaning. If you're looking for a real job, I recommend taking talking to the railroad people up at, by Dirtwater. Uh, let's talk about errands. What errands? You mentioned errands. Yeah, this Forsaken... I read Forsaken as foreskin for a second. <laughs> yeah, this Forsaken burg is always falling apart in one way or another. The hostler's always needing help since he hurt his leg, and that no-account sheriff could certainly stand to have somebody doing his job for him. Anything else? Well, I've, I've got a goblin loose in the basement. Some cow poking from the gold just didn't, didn't wipe his boots off and got spores everywhere. I can probably handle- I can handle a goblin! I got Grammy's brass knuckles! I can beat the living shit! Oh, whoops. The living shit out of that goblin. Much obliged. I'll unlock the basement for you. Oh, and you'll need this. You need weak fungus item. I'll take care of it. Hell yeah. What's up? Woman glares at you. Should probably just let her drink. Yeah, sure. Are yeah, you sleeping? These two are playing poker, or at least are trying to. They keep looking back and forth from their hands to the how to play poker card that came with their deck, biting their lips and concentrating real hard. Good luck, you two. Can I go? You already plumbed to the depths of this platoon and your own and your own depravity. You should be ashamed of yourself. I am not ashamed. I I plunged into the absolute uh, devil's anus with absolute pride and joy. Weak fungus side. Effective against goblins. Okay, cool. Hello? A pile of old newspapers. Oh, hello. What the fuck are you? Are you the Gablin? Take one. You got a boring gazette. 
Cool. It's whiskey. Grab a bottle. Yeah. So gambling. The goblin shouts, Bree York! Attack the goblin. Alright, you're gonna get your shit rocked. Got him! Ah, ah. ah! I'm gonna kick the shit out of you. Just, just, it'll take me one second. Just give, just, 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 there we go, ah, there we go. I'm gonna just, oh, bah, yeah, you got a limpy. Victory, because I'm a fucking badass. Having dispatched that goblin, you pat yourself on the back for a job well done. You gain 3 XP, yeehaw, skill up grit. You lost force everywhere, though. You hose him down with that can of fungicide. Head back upstairs. Da -da 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 -da, I'm a fucking windmill. Barkeep! Howdy, howdy. Good to see you again, Barry. Tip your hat to the bartender. I took care of that goblin for you. Woo! 200 meat! Thank you kindly, Barry. I knew you, you was a stand-up feller the moment you walked in. Tip your hat. Tips fedora. I don't have a fedora. Who's the lady drinking whiskey out of that beer mug? Wait, what the fuck? Whiskey out of a beer mug? You are badass. That's Susie. She's a rancher from nearby. A real tough broad. I ain't recommend you pester her. Why is that? Lost her whole family to, the, to a cow attack recently. Got some pent up frustrations about it. So... <laughs> Woman glares at you. Howdy, Susie. Howdy, cowboy, who's gonna be searching the spittoon for his teeth if he don't leave me in peace? Okay, bye-bye then. The joke's on you. I already went to the spittoon. <laughs> I'm gonna step in all the shit. Sheriff! Hey, Sheriff. Howdy, stranger. Welcome to Boring Springs. I'm the sheriff in these parts. The what? He sighs. The sheriff, okay? Blasted sign painters. Say, you wouldn't... <laughs> happen to be looking for work, would you? Well, as a matter of fact, I am. Great, because I happen to have some. There's a gang of hoodlums around here what calls themselves the Fricker Gang. The Fricker Gang. Okay. The last time I arrested one of them, they busted him out and took took my cell door with them. It ain't, uh, well, it ain't much good without the door. And? And I need someone tough, smart, and or slick to go fetch them, fetch it for me. Why, why don't you do it yourself? Yeah, wait, why don't you do it yourself? I gotta sit here and practice my chair tipping. Oh, fuck yourself. Yeah, okay, I, I need money. I need meat. I need meat. Funny you say that, because I'm sending the deputy along with you to keep you out of trouble. He takes a pistol from the desk and hands it to you. Deputy pistol. Dep deputy. I You deputized the gun? <laughs> You're new in town, maybe you ain't noticed, but there ain't much to do here, sip, drink. Here, let me write you down for where the Fricker Gang hideout is. Ah, got it. I'll be back with your door. Not even to get them. The door. Oh, it's a, it's a mug! Yo, barkeep! I got a mug! I found a mug! Oh, you chip your head to barkeep just for say howdy. Well, the mission, <laughs> mission accomplished, I reckon. Alright, okay. Alright, time to get a horse! Woo! One thousand- Horse is one thousand horse meat. Afternoon, sir, what can I do for it? I don't got a thousand horse meat. How's business? You, oh, you know, you know. Every day I'm horseling. To tell you the truth, though, I'm pretty terrible. All my horses keep running away. Well, except the, this completely ordinary one. That's rough. Maybe I can help. Oh, God, yes. Thank you. Please, I'd go fetch them myself. Except for this injury. I'll give you 300 meat each for finding them. How many are there? Three. Here, let me see your map. They pretty much always run away to the same places. Okay, three. We got Orhill Mine, Boring Springs, Boneyard, and Thousand Snakes Gulch. Why these places? I think they like the environments that, that are thematically appropriate. Okay. Here, where you find one, feed it some of these oats. That should send him back here. A bag of homing oat. Okay, fucking why not? How does they? How does that work? They're specially. They're special pigeon-infused oats. Okay, we'll do. See you later. I'm just gonna ice skate my way out of this bitch. Woo! Trade. 
Step right up, step right up. Braid's the name, then trades the game. You seriously doubt his name is Braid? Yeah, I don't, I don't believe you. Howdy, Braid. What are you trading? Well, sir, today I am trading locks for soap and a stick of dynamite for a needle. What? And to, and to the cunning Skinner who brings me three rattlesnake hides, well, to that adventurous soul I will trade a fine silver pocket watch. I don't have sh I need dickerin! I got a dick and I can be entering. That sounds like entering. I'm gonna leave now. Goodbye. I'm gonna crawl away. Get a lot. Okay, shit, bye. Nope, you're not allowed to go to PK anymore, remember? Oh, is that where I'm from? Do 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 do. Let me check my map. Hello, where am I? Oh, Fricker Gang. Let's go to the. Let's go find the Fricker Gang. All right, what is going on, gentlemen? Thud Fricker. The Fricker Gang's intrepid lookout appears to be taking a nap. I'm gonna ignore him. I will leave you. Alone. I'm gonna do this all sneaky like. A uh, what? It's a beer barrel cactus. A pile of random stuff for the Fricker Gang stole. Yep, 25 meat. Recovered mug. A pair of silver cufflinks. I am sneaking my way in. Ah, da, da, da. I'm gonna catch the Fricker Gang. Been on my sled. One of the Fricker Gang. Tie him up. Psst. Keep asking the soap. Hey, keep asking the soap. He mumbles a hedge of bar soap before sinking deeper into the <laughs> into both sleep and the tub. Yep, find a bar of soap. You don't see shit. No. You cautiously approach the Fricker Gang. They are pretty engrossed in their poker game, so it doesn't actually require that much caution. You hide behind a barrel and eavesdrops on eavesdrop on their conversation for a while. The one with the eye patch is quiet, but you gather that his name is Snipe, and that the squirrely one is his brother Wimpy. What's your play here? Leave without. Oh, I'm gonna approach and talk to him. Okay, that's all. Howdy, right. boys, deal me in. I want the iPad to raise an eyebrow you. Who are you? How'd you get past Stud and Soapy? What do you want? I'm here for the sheriff's door. I'll show you the door. The door to hell. Okay, fine. Uh, fine it is. Shit, you got me, bro. Try shooting, try to shoot the, this target and we'll hit the sturdy barrel instead. How about I brass knuckle the hell out of you? Oh, brass knuckle the hell out of you. There we go. Who you got? You fucking missed. I'm gonna punch the shit out of you. Right in the fucking knock. What? At least they were kind enough to drag you outside after they you, they beat you unconscious. How do I switch targets? There we go. I'm gonna punch you. How about this? Boom. Wimp. You didn't hit shit, bitch. Yeah. Bitch, you're just a peel. Wait a minute. That was too easy. Players of the Fricker Gang are dead by your hand. The sheriff will be will be proud of you. Though you're not sure how your mother would feel. Skill muscle level two. Muscle level two. Time to cover the sheriff's door. I'm gonna get that door. Hey, grab it. I'm just gonna put this in my back pocket. Got it. Hell yeah. A pile of Fricker's ill-gotten gains. Fifty me. Yeah, what a haul, baby. Oh, it's a mug. <laughs> Shoot him! That doesn't seem very sportman-like. You sure you want to do that? Honestly, I'll let him live. I am a I am a gracious man who takes pity on people. Goodbye, turd. Boring springs. I'm gonna make my way to the sheriff's place. I'll get there eventually. Oh, I passed it. Sheriff! Sheriff, I got your door! I see the Fricker Gang hasn't put a stop to your breathing. 
Did you rescue my cell door? You hand the sheriff his door and he hangs it back on its hinges. Nice work, stranger. This here prison cell just got a f about four times more secure. Are there any fricker boys left to me to round up? Yeah, one or two that are sleeping on the job. I'll go around I'll go round him up shortly then. Looks like I owe you a reward. He produces a big bag of meat. 400 meat? Hell yeah! I got another little task for you. If you got the time, should be a lot of simpler than the last one. A lot simpler? Sure. Well, the frickers busted the lock when they took the door. Gonna need a new lock. I'll keep an eye out. Oh, I need the trader, right? I can get a, a lock for a bar of soap. Alright, braid. I'll trade it soap for a lock. Braid, though you really don't think his name is actually Braid, it's not. Takes your soap and hands you a lock. Thank you, Braid. And here you go, Sheriff, you pile of shite. Yep. I got your lock right goddamn here. That'll do nicely. <laughs> the Sheriff puts the lock on the cell door, then accidentally drops the, the key and it clatters into the cell. Hellfire. Don't suppose you know how to pick a lock, stranger. You got a needle handy? I'll see what I can do. Fuck the fuck. I need to stick a dynamite to get a, a needle. I think that will have to do for this episode. I really like how I, uh, <laughs> I like this game. I like it a lot. Um, I like the humor in it. It's very nice. I, I hope there's more spittoons I can, like, just dunk my hand in. That's gonna be nice. Anyway, thank you everyone so much for watching, and if you want to see more, uh, let me know in the down in the comments below, and if you haven't already, please subscribe, because I'm a pathetic piece of shit that needs some help. Anyway, thank you everyone, everyone so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video, probably.